Hey, how are you all doing? This is Lee Gerstmann, and I have a record review for you. This has been kind of a while, because, well, I've been kind of not so totally into doing stuff for a while, but now I'm back on track. So, this is an album that was suggested to me by... Nate Atchison. Thank you, Nate. This is a group that he turned me on to. I hadn't heard of them until he mentioned them to me. And they are called Maytal. And that's the name of the lady drummer. The name she goes by. And this is her group. And the album is called Alchemy. And the thing is... This is maybe considered to be one of the kind of newer styles of metal where it's supposedly like kind of popish sounds with um, heavy metal styles. So it's supposed to be the idea behind these scoops is it's supposed to be maybe kind of like you're going to the mall and you're listening to, you know, pop stuff, but you want to be considered kind of heavy. So, you add a little bit of feedback and a little bit of intensity to the beat and the voice. And so, a lot of those groups who do that kind of stuff, they're not really my thing. But I do have to say something about this group, Maytal, and that's that they don't really quite qualify to be considered in that category. They may have a little bit of a pop edge once in a while, but they add a lot of stuff that's like old-style metal, and they combine it in a way that's very original. And so, even though I was thinking that I wasn't necessarily going to like this album, I actually liked it. And I'm thinking that if this is the start of a trend for them and they go on to do other albums that you know might be even better I think that they have a chance of being the next really cool heavy metal group because they really are pretty talented and I was surprised and so well you know I actually like one of the new metal style of groups and I like that they don't do that growling kind of a voice. Well, there was one song, they do a little bit of it in a little bit of the song, but um, for the most part, no, they do regular singing, which I think says a lot. You know, they, they want to actually do music that you can listen to and not stuff that you feel like someone's choking a donkey or something. But anyway... I'll get into the songs. The first song is called Breathe, and this is kind of interesting. It's, to me, it's sort of like the Scorpions playing the Dave Matthews songbook. But it's okay. And then the song Nothing. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Korn and Mars Volta. It's pretty interesting. And then the song Everybody Hates You Now. This is pretty kicking. It's like the kind of groove I'd do with Dale Stilson and my old group Black Spotted Thunder. It has a really funky, interesting beat. And I really dig it. Well, the middle part, the melody is a little bit popish for my taste, but most of it's pretty damn awesome. And then Shadow in Disguise. I could imagine myself writing something like this. I dig it. And then Behind These Walls. This is kind of like an Alan Parsons song. It took me a little while to get into it, but... It's different, but it's interesting. And I eventually thought, whoa, yeah, it's, 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 it's a good piece. And then, Killing Time. 
This is like a more intense queen strike. It's pretty good. And then torn in two. As weird as this sounds, it makes me think of if Enya was heavy metal. That's a weird idea, but this is a well done song. And then Immoral Exorcist. This sounds kind of King Diamond influenced. It's pretty interesting and cool. And then Dark Side Down. This sounds a little influenced by Vangelis, by just a touch bit. It's not bad. And then Tear Me Apart. This one seemed the most original. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. So overall, yeah, I would say I don't tend as a habit to listen to newer styles of metal, but this really didn't quite totally fit that category. This had a lot of like old school style of respect in it, like they were combining a little bit of the new and the old, so that I can dig. So yeah, Nate, um, thank you for turning me on to this group. I'm surprised that I liked it, but hey, you know, I did. Well, anyway, this has been my review. Okay, take care.